Nine New Jersey hospitals will soon start checking whether babies born in their maternity wards have health insurance. If not, their parents will be asked to sign them up. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports on this new pilot program. These New Jersey newborns are as cute as can be, but do they have health insurance? That's what the state hopes to accomplish with its new Insured for Sure initiative. It's a hospital-based pilot project that aims to enroll uninsured babies in New Jersey family care the minute they arrive. We're moving one step closer to ensuring that all New Jersey residents have health insurance. But we're starting with the most vulnerable with our children. Health Commissioner Heather Howard announced the project last week at St. Peter's University Hospital in New Brunswick, which already has started recruiting. It's a one-page application. Okay. And I'll also give you a checklist which you need to follow up with family care so in that way. When he leaves the hospital, he'll have insurance. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll do the process here. 28-year-old Shayna Smith, who was about to undergo a scheduled C-section, was quick to sign up. So he could have health insurance and he's, you know, well taken care of. You want to make sure? Yes. They will get the card in the mail within two weeks. So they'll have that for the very first uh, new baby, well baby visit. In addition to St. Peter's, the other hospitals in the pilot program are Palisades Medical Center, Capital Health System, Monmouth Medical Center, Cooper University Hospital, Virtua West Jersey Hospital, Shore Memorial Hospital, and Atlantic Care, both in Atlantic City and in Pomona. The state says that 27,000 babies a year are born at these hospitals and that adding them to the state rolls would cost $43 million. But supporters say the price tag is well worth it. For immunizations, for, for sick children, it will hopefully help, hopefully help keep the uh, patients out of the emergency room and into the offices and, and uh, facilities so that uh, the baby can get continued care. Good boy. Eligibility for New Jersey family care is determined by a financial formula. We have families for base up to 350% of the poverty guidelines. Translated, that comes to about $77,000 gross income. Families who exceed the income limits are allowed to buy into Family Care Advantage, a low-cost sliding scale program for children. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, New Brunswick.